Okay, uh, this is the overview, just so you can see what's going on. Um, this is the, um, the drawing. Basically, uh, input voltage battery ZVS driver circuit to an induction coil to a, a Tesla bike filer. Uh, Schottky diodes, uh, 50 volt DC cap into an uh, alter cap bank. Um, one side is going through a switch into the input of the ZVS, the other side is going through to a DC DC converter. We're just keeping the voltage low enough um, for the inverter to keep running. If it goes over the uh, 13 volts, then it cuts out and then the capacitor bank just charges up. So then that's uh, powering um, an incandescent bulb. Um, so basically what it's going to show is, um, I'm going to start the DC-DC converter to show what's in the cap capacitor bank, uh, which will power the light. Um, I will then start the battery to uh, show you the system running and it will show you the drain on the battery and the uh, DC or what's in the cap bank. Then I will flick the switch um, as the cap, cap bank's power will then split one side going back in which will charge the run battery or stop the voltage from the run battery from coming out um, and the other side will continue to keep um, this uh, inverter running and start uh, increasing its own charge. Uh, which is a little bit strange. Um, it also shows uh, from the amp meter that we have a lower amperage for the input for the system to drive and on the output of the uh, Tesla by filer coil we have a larger amperage output. Um, so I'll just try and show you this. So basically we'll start the what's in the capacitor bank and that shows we've got 13.8 course the inverter starts and the light comes on. I'll then start the run battery um, the system will start running. Um, this will show what's in the battery which is going down. This is the run battery um, because we haven't switched over yet. This is what's in the capacitor. So um, now I'll switch over and you should see a slow increase very shortly. Uh, firstly, we have the capacitor bank which is charging up and then we have the run battery which is charging up all the time we're still using the power so I'll switch this off um, and let the power drain down a little bit um, the other thing I'll show is I'll start the system again so you can see the amperage input 0 0.10 and the amperage output 282 and again um, just to show again a decrease the system's draining into the inverter and as we loop the system again already see an increase in the capacitor slow charge into the run battery.
So until I have uh, until I have a system uh, that's big enough to handle this, uh, we'll just uh, keep it as it as it is. Um, to begin with, um, basically I had a run battery at twenty point four um, to charge the caps up to fourteen point forty. Uh, from 8.9 basically the run battery used 0 0.80 volts DC to charge from 8.90 to 14.40 um, so this was a minus of 0 0.80 volts and it gave a plus of 5.50 so we're about uh, yeah, nearly four volts on the plus side uh, when this system's running. And of course, there's no, uh, obviously there's no battery in and the system is just using what's in the capacitor. So a very large cap bank, a short input longer duration time less voltage input for longer voltage output you can see uh, we've gone down because the inverter will only run at the uh, 12 volts that's needed so um, there you go that's what I've got to show. Come back, John.